All right, here is your optional rest day abs workout. Remember, you can also add this to the beginning or the end of your regular workouts. Lean abs are the most common request I get from clients and fans. And this simple routine hits your abdominals from all angles. Like all of my workouts, you will feel your abs getting tighter as you do it. And as usual, remember, implement the fierce form techniques and you will start to see that flat stomach magically appear. Let's go get it. Okay, welcome to the abs workout. We are gonna jump straight into it, so follow along. What you're gonna do is come onto your hands and your knees, and you're gonna make sure that your shoulder is right over your wrist. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your elbow and make sure that elbow touches that knee and you pull those abs in, and then you're gonna reach out nice and straight. So you bring the elbow to the knee, and it's gotta to touch the knee, not the thigh. Make sure it touches the knee and you reach straight out, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do 12 of those on each side. You with me? Let's go. Here we go. And elbow to the knee and stretch out. And elbow to the knee and stretch out. Elbow to the knee and stretch out. And make sure you're tightening those abs as we go. And let's have a look at what's going on over here. All right, we've got Kiefer over here who's uh, an extreme professional here as he's performing this exercise. He's, make, he's making sure that his elbows go to his knees and he's getting a nice long line here. We have four and good long line. His glutes are extended. Three, two more. Adiana here, abs nice and tight and one. Fantastic job. Let's go ahead and start the second side. So I'll join with you. Here we go, three, two, one. Elbow to the knee and extend. Get that leg extended at the back. Elbow to the knee and extend. Keep going, guys. Now what I wanna show you here is something Adiana's doing. Every time the elbow comes up, see how much her abs go all the way in. You see the serratus muscles right here in her abs working. She gets a nice, long, straight line here. Excellent, and we have three, and extend, and two, and extend, and last one, and extend. Fantastic job, stay with us. All right, you guys good? All right, let's keep going. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here in this position. You're gonna take your arms forward. Now, you're gonna lean back slightly really making sure that you're taking control in your abdomen. And we're gonna go do twists here, twists with a pump. So you're gonna to twist to the front, give a little pump, come back to the center. Twist to the side, give a little pump, come back to the center. Now, if that's a little challenging for you, you can follow along with Adiana, who's gonna go all the way down. She's gonna remain in crunch position, and you're still gonna do the twist and pump, twist and pump, okay? Are we ready? Arms straight, use those abs, go all the way back. Here we go, and twist and pump, center. Twist and pump, center. We're going to 16, pump, center. Four, pump, center. Five, pump, center. And if you want, take it a little lower, little lower, feel those abs working. Excellent job. Now, let me pick on Kiefer here a little bit, just because he's here, all right? And what we want to see is we're going to make this a little more challenging. So go back a little bit more, Kiefer. That's it. Look at how he maintains that form all the way back. Good stuff. Even a little bit more on the last two. Thank you very much. He's committed to you. Look at that. Awesome. All right, fantastic job, guys. All right, now, this next move is a little bit more complicated, but it's lots of fun. All right, you're going to go back onto your hands and knees, OK? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one foot up and you're gonna let your knee touch your elbow. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Make sure you're not back here. You really want your shoulders over your wrists again. We're gonna talk about that quite a bit. All you're gonna do is take one foot back, bring it in. One foot back and bring it in. It's really gonna work all the way through all of your abdominals. Now, that may be challenging for you, so if it is, you're gonna do just like Adiana, 
and you're gonna just go onto your knee, come down onto your knee, and yet she's still gonna bring that elbow, sorry, that knee all the way to the elbow and extend. Now look at this. Look at those right here, okay? That's the gold standard. That's really what you're going for. Get those knees up. Thank you very much. Extend, she's grunting and groaning, and it's okay, you can do that too. But that's what you wanna get, okay? So, let's go. Hands and knees, let's set it up. 10 of these each side. Try to pull your abs in, and here we go. And extend, and in, and extend, and in and extend, brilliant, keep going. Again, what happens is you might get a little bit tired, you still wanna make sure you're getting the full extension here. Okay, now Kiefer's got this great curve in his back, which means he's holding his abs. You got two more, two and one. I know, you didn't expect it, you didn't expect to feel it like that, okay? That means it's working, so let's go ahead Let's do the second side. Okay, here we go. Here we go, he's sweating already. This is, this is glorious, here we go. Three, two, one, and extend, one. Good, and full extension, boom, two. Now, if you're on your knees, Adiana is still giving that full extension, and sometimes what you wanna do is you wanna rotate that foot all the way in. So you've got a nice long line. You're even getting some glute work going on. You've got four more, I'm with you, keep going. Keep those abs tight. Show them how tight we can get these abs, Adiana. On the last two, one. Yeah. Good, squeeze, squeeze, Ooh. squeeze. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Thank you very much, good job. All right, next exercise. I know you're feeling your abs right now. We're gonna do a little bit more. Next exercise is a modified plank. Now this exercise is key. If you wanna get those lines in the side of your abs that you see on the magazines, this is what's gonna do it for you, okay? So, onto your elbows. We're gonna keep our feet uh, about hip width apart and you're gonna come into a straight line. So you've got a regular plank position. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your shoulder blades and then you're gonna use your abdomen to push all the way back up. Okay, it's a very simple movement. You drop your shoulder blades, you come all the way back up. up. Now watch this, I don't want you to do any of this, okay? No booty popping, keep that in. You drop your shoulders and you come back up. If that is too challenging, follow Adiana, she's on her knees, she does the drop and still comes up. And let's show them what you're famous for, Adiana. Let's see those abs go down again. Excellent job, push up, okay. We're just gonna do 12 of these. Really focus on getting your abs fully engaged. Remember, the fierce form principle. Make sure that your abs are always engaged. Here we go. Plank position, legs are straight, and you drop your shoulders, come all the way up, squeeze. Drop your shoulders, all the way up. Drop your shoulders and breathe out as you come up. Drop those shoulders, breathe out as you come up. Drop them again, breathe out as you come up. Keep going, keep going here. Again, I want you to note what's happening. First of all, there's a copious amount of sweat happening here. That means there's work going on, okay? Then you wanna tighten these abs as you push up. Boom, awesome. You got two more. One, good job, fantastic, okay. Final move, you're gonna come down uh, onto your mat. You're gonna keep your hands here, press your palms together, and roll all the way down, keeping your shoulder blades off the mat. Try to make sure that you're not tensing your neck and all of the work is going on in your abdomen. Remember, everything is core, okay? You keep your hands here, and you're gonna go over the head. Take the arms all the way around, keeping your shoulder blades off the floor. Then you come up over the head, Arms all the way around. Now, if you want to make it a little more challenging, you do just what Kiefer just did. You take your legs straight, you come over the head, all the way around, okay? So we're gonna go for 10 of those. I call this exercise the diver. I don't know if it looks like a diver. I think it does, so that's what we're gonna call it, all right? So, hands together, come up into crunch position, and let's go. One, and all the way around, and, Two, maintain your form throughout the whole exercise. 
three. Okay, I'm gonna show you some stuff over here. Stuff that I want you to make sure you pick up, okay? Look at what's going on with Kiefer here. His shoulder blades are off the floor, okay? That means his abdominals have to stay connected. So try that, try making sure your shoulder blades stay off the floor. You got two more, even Adiana right here, you're doing this version, make sure those shoulder blades are off the floor. Final one. Excellent job, guys. So, those are your five ab moves. I know you're feeling it. If you wanna leave it here, that's fine. And if you're feeling kind of frisky and wanna do some more, you can go through them all over again. But there are your ab moves for the day. You ever been on a weight loss plan and felt like something is missing? Well, you're right. Most plans just talk about diet and exercise, but many researchers agree that stress reduction is a critical component missing in most weight loss programs. Today's 21st century lifestyle is so fast paced, we can ignore the need to, to de-stress and relax. Many of us even feel lazy or unproductive if we take time to just chill out. In modern times, we're faced with the stresses of job performance, mortgage payments, self-image, relationships, and not to mention the kids. Our ancient counterparts didn't have to deal with any of that. They had two different kinds of stress. Number one, food was scarce, so starvation was a reality. The body would identify starvation as a stress, and so it would think the body is not getting enough nutrients, and so it would hold on to body fat because it's protecting itself from starving. The other form of stress is the fight or flight response. Danger was all around. Maybe they were hunting for food and they start being chased by a bear. Either way, whether it's fight or flight, they produce a stress response in the body that raises the level of a substance called cortisol in the bloodstream, which sends more sugar into the bloodstream, giving us the energy to fight or run, flight. The body registers all stress in the same way. So when you're stressed over your job, the body still responds by either holding on to body fat because it thinks you're starving, or releasing more sugar into the bloodstream because it thinks you need to run or you need to fight. The only thing is, you don't need to run or fight, so now your body takes this excess sugar and stores it as fat, typically in the stomach area which not only doesn't look great, but is also linked to greater health risks. And what's more, too much stress-induced cortisol in your system can slow down your metabolism. Stress is also responsible for increased cravings, emotional eating, wanting to eat more fast food. So as you can see, stress is a major contributor to weight gain and fat storage. But not to worry, we've got some ways to help you de-stress, and get back on track to getting that lean, hard body. Number one, very simple, you're doing it already, work out. It releases serotonin, endorphin, dopamine, chemicals naturally produced in the body that help you calm down and feel less anxiety. Point number two, get some sleep. People who lack sleep produce more of a hormone called ghrelin, which increases hunger. They also produce less of the hormone leptin, which helps prevent you from overeating. Those who are not getting at least seven hours of shut eye every night are losing precious REM sleep, that deep restful stage where you burn the most calories. Treat yourself, get a massage. You deserve it, you work hard. It's a great way to just shut everything out and relax. Try yoga, try breathing exercises. Connect with friends. Sometimes you just need to talk it out. Once you talk it out, you, you're free to go on and do other things. Get a hobby. Hobbies are known to relieve stress. Gardening, painting, pool, knitting. Figure out whatever it is and get into it. And finally, laughter. You're stressed out, you need to laugh. Go to a comedy show. Get some funny movies. It's shown that laughter can burn up to 20% more calories than keeping that poker face. So, these are some ways that you can reduce stress, but please understand your stress level does have a direct effect on your weight loss, that lean, hard body, and more importantly, it really does have some long-term health consequences. 
So try to relax, chill out, take it easy, kick back.